In this video, we will be going to solve question number 50 of Etsyvama, chapter number 2. And this question says that there are two persons, A and B, which are separated by some distance, X. Let's call the distance between A and B is X. Now there is a wind flowing from the direction of A to B. So here is the wind. It is flowing in the direction of A to B with a velocity of u meter per second. This is the speed of wind. Now let's assume that the velocity of uh, the sound with respect to the wind is given as v. V is the velocity of sound with respect to wind. Now, what that means is the distance x, it is traveled by the velocity of sound with respect to ground and not with respect to wind. So, we first have to find the velocity of the sound with respect to ground. That will just be velocity of sound with respect to wind plus velocity of wind. So this is the velocity of sound with respect to ground. Now once we have this we can multiply this with time t1 therefore x over t1 equals v plus u where v is the velocity of sound with respect to wind and u is the speed of wind. So this is our first equation. Our second equation comes when A and B interchange their position. Now B is, B is here and A is here and the distance to x. Obviously the wind will not change its direction just because A changes. So the wind will still flow in the positive x-axis with the speed of u meter per second. Now again the speed of wind, uh, the speed of sound with respect to wind is v. This is speed of or the velocity of sound with respect to wind. Now in this case however the wind is going against the sound because sound moves from a to b. That's how sound moves. So V will be equal to velocity of sound with respect to ground plus the velocity of uh, wind which is just U. So that, that implies that the velocity of sound with respect to ground in this case becomes v minus u. Again, x in this case will equal v minus u because that's the velocity of sound with respect to ground. And we, we need that because the distance x is covered with respect to ground and not with respect to wind times t2. So x over t2 equals v minus u. That's our second equation. Now once we've got this, we know that x over t1 was equal to v plus u and x over t2 equals v minus u. If we add these two equations, we can eliminate u to get 2v equals x 1 over t1 plus 1 over t2 or we can find v as x over 2 1 over t1 plus 1 over t2 same way if we plug in in any of the two equations above first and second one we can find u to be x over 2 1 over t1 minus 1 over t2 the basic point in this question was to find out what's the velocity of sound 
with respect to ground because that's the velocity or that's the speed by which it covers the distance x. Whenever the distance is given, always make sure uh, with respect to what the distance has been given. Here the distance has been given with respect to ground. It has not been mentioned explicitly but the sound will travel with respect to ground only. The distance it covers is on the ground and that's why we need the velocity of sound or the speed of sound with respect to ground to solve this problem. I hope this one is clear. Thanks for watching.